Most confined animal feeding operations underestimate the value of the waste created by the animals who live there. Texas Tech University's Clifford Fedler uses this greenhouse to show how wastewater can be recycled and cleaned, yielding multiple environmental benefits, creating sources of revenue and generating energy in the process. Like what I've got here is where we run it through cattail tanks first, once it gets finished with the cattail tanks, it goes into a tank with growing water hyacinths. The roots of the water hyacinths provide a surface area for bacteria to grow. The result is a type of natural filter that cleans the water and provides nourishment to the plants. By the time it gets through the tanks with the water hyacinths, it's clean enough where I can grow duckweed and further clean it. But now I'm producing valuable byproducts because the duckweed can be used as fish feed, a very good value fish feed, or even high value cattle feed. The water hyacinths that grow in the wastewater can then be harvested, dried, and used as a sustainable biomass energy source. The dried biomass can then be fed into a gasifier and converted into other energy sources, including electricity. Meanwhile, the water is now clean enough to sustain and grow fish and other aquatic life that can be used as an extra revenue source. My ultimate goal, of course, is for water recycling. Nature's been recycling itself and the water's been recycling itself for many years, long before we ever arrived. And so, um, you know, with the various animals, it's just, we're now trying to duplicate what she's been doing, but in a much, much more compact system. For Texas Tech University, I'm Leslie Cranford.